Hi there. Welcome to the Flow Excel family. My name is Yasin and I'm the CMO of Flow Excel. Now, it is a platform used by small, medium and enterprise businesses all over the world. And within the next couple of minutes, I wanted to give you a quick overview of the platform and then provide with the top four features our best customers use. From a high level perspective, Flow XO is best for five things. Number one is its AI chatbots capability. We use OpenAI's GPT models in order to enable you to create very advanced versions of AI chatbots with ease. FlowXO can be integrated deeply within your existing systems. We integrate with tools like Salesforce, ActiveCampaign, Basecamp, and over a hundred more integrations. Next, we have our workflow automation. This is important because you can automate things like customer support, lead qualification, create a course board, or even web apps. Under number four, we have the no code environment. Even if you don't know anything about coding, you can still create a very advanced version of an AI chatbot, for example. And finally, it is the scalability. It's just the platform is always ready to scale. Now, let's quickly move on to the actual application so I can show you the top four features used by our best customers. So, on the left, you see the main menu. We'll first go to Flows. Flows is really the brains of your chatbot. Here, you can add an AI chatbot, you can automate customer support, uh, you can automate lead qualification, create a course bot, create web apps, or something else. It's really limitless. One important thing here is whatever flow you create is to always turn it on. Remember to always turn on your flows because if it is off as it is right now, well, your bot will not have a brain. Now, moving on to bots. Bots really is our way of saying channels. You can add channels like Telegram, Web, Messenger, or any of the listed here. Uh, one important thing is once you add a bot, uh, this is already added, then you have uh, this menu will pop up. Look, you will see it. Uh, well, actually, like, let me, let me just add, I'm going to add a web and give it like name and then click next. And then you see the screen. Uh, so this here is where you can test your bot. So I've already copied the link of the survival button here. And once you copy and paste this link, it opens up a test menu for your chatbot. This is where like whatever flow you create, you can literally start testing your bot. Uh, now moving on to the live chat functionality. Any live chat that comes in, this is where it can get answered by you. Uh, and if you have multi-agents, then we have the Phoenix chat. The Phoenix chat is really the equivalent of a ticketing system. Uh, so like you have your open chat, the unassigned, the like my chats, if I was the agent in question, you can create teams. Uh, and then you can also take a look at your contacts. Really simple. Now the final thing I wanted to show you is the knowledge base. Now, this is where you can really add your own data to train your own bot. Uh, well, to train it on your own data is what I mean. Now, let's quickly add a new knowledge base. Uh, testing base. We create this knowledge base and right now we are inside of it. However, it's currently empty. There are two ways for you to add content to it. One is we can do it automatically for you. You just create a new data source, give it a name, place your URL here, and we will start collecting your articles, help docs, website content. We'll just start adding it into this knowledge base. Uh, the other way is for you to add a new document. Now, this is where you do it manually. But for example, if you don't want every article to be added from your website to the bot, this is where you can control the narrative freely. 
uh, and just add them manually. Like for example, we have a couple of professors, university professors, who are using this functionality in order to create cause bots. Uh, now I have already created a knowledge base for this and I've let it quickly load. Uh, and I've added a website called the preparedness experience. So it's really a survival website. Uh, and I've already added automatically all of the articles in here, as you can see. Uh, what you can do is you can delete, edit any of these articles. You can unpublish or publish them. You can stop the scraping. Um, and yeah, but like, I've also linked this to an AI chatbot. So like, let me quickly show you. Now, you go to bots, uh, you click your channel, you click edit, you click next, and then you copy this link so we can get to the testing phase. I've already opened it in here. This is what it would look like. Now, let's see, for example, I'm in the market of like wanting to buy a flashlight and I want to buy the best one. So I'm just going to ask it, what are the best flashlights? Let's see what happens. There you go. It provides you an answer. It gives you a link to the flashlight and you can read more about it. Now that you know all of this, I think you should be well prepared to create your first AI chatbot or maybe something else. So the power is really in your hands right now. But question is, what will you create with it?